Hi, 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 and welcome back to the channel. Did you miss me, bitch? I know you did. I missed you too. But today is a very, very serious video. I have a confession for the world. Something that I've been keeping to myself for a very long time. I am in love with Japanese romance graphic novels. I just, I can't hide it anymore. This is the reason why I am 25 and single. <sighs> just playing. Let's start at the beginning of why I am a shoujo manga loving trash can. This is art and the reason why I'm so good at love advice and why I am still alone. So let's go back to the year 2009. Joyce is on YouTube all day, watching a bunch of AMVs, which is animated music videos. Basically, the characters from your favorite TV shows and put all the fan art in it with music. I am really special cause there's only one of me. Look at my smile, I'm so damn happy other people are jealous of me. Which is also how I know the iconic once in a lifetime song called Every Time We Touch. And every time we touch, I get this feeling. And every time we kiss, I swear I can fly. I was watching Kim Possible animated music videos and it kind of just went down into a rabbit hole. And it's actually how I found out about Naruto. I found a link for the Sasu Naru animated music videos and that was me for weeks. I read every Denoshi, Dedushi, whatever, fan, comics, and everything. I'm talking about wake up in the morning, think about Tatsunaro. And of course, I couldn't tell my mom or my sisters because it was like two boys like making out <laughs> with this really great techno music in the background. And through those links, I found the first manga, Love Hybrid. It is a yaoi manga. Yaoi is boys love. Yeah, I know about that, sis. I, I mean, I was reading Jujo Romantica for these girls even knew what it was. I saw Sex Pistols. I've read Sex Pistols. Come for me. What made it so exciting was seeing these men act in such a different dynamic. Just seeing men be ultra feminine or seeing men be ultra masculine and finding a love connection really helped save my view of men because I'll go to school with just a bunch of boys who are ready to get a girl pregnant just by breathing. I, it was a different story. It was a different lifestyle. And then I found one of my top two mangas of all time, Skip Beat. Skip Beat is a story about a girl whose boyfriend was a pop star. She quit high school just to work two jobs to support him while he was training. And then as soon as he got famous, he dumped her. So what did this bad bitch do? Did she cry? Did she say, woe is me, I can't do it on it, man? No, she said, F him. I'm gonna be the biggest idol there ever f was. And turns out, the bad bitch did and got a whole other idol to fall in love with her. I used to read this story in my closet when my parents thought I was asleep and one day they saw me in the closet and they thought I was watching porn. This was porn, mom. This is the porn for the heart. Great characters, strong woman. This is the which Skip beat. This is it. And it, it's one of those stories that really helped me believe in myself. You know, when people were constantly telling me I wasn't smart enough, pretty enough, and cool enough, I read her story and I just felt so connected to her. She had one goal. Was it revenge? Absolutely, because a bad bitch always gets her enemies at the end, but she found love, she found success, and she found her dreams. So from there, absolute boyfriend. I've never met a man like the man in Absolute Boyfriend. That's when I learned when you have a nosebleed, when you see somebody, you are so sexually turned on by them that your body literally regurgitates everywhere. And even though her best friend was in love with her, didn't matter, cause her Absolute Boyfriend, he was the baddest bitch in the room. Let's talk about Yuri Manga. You think I'm just reading the boys love? <laughs> Baby. I read the girls love too. Doesn't get as much clout as the boys love, but there are some gems in your manga. Gems. There's this one called Girlfriends. Girlfriends is literally about this girl who became friends with this girl and they fell in love. And it sounds so simple, just quiet, real, honest romance. They never kissed. They under a blanket and I couldn't even watch. I, I was really upset about that, but it's fine. That's none of my business, whatever. It's a really sweet love story. I don't know why you're judging me. 
I, I don't know. I think that's my relationship with shoujo manga specifically. Like, I love One Piece. I love Tokyo Ghoul. I love the dark boy sh I love that sh But is it ever going to slap like this mother book? So let me tell you about Straw Edge. You see what this little, this little girl happy? This woman, she died by the dick. Look at her, died by that dick. Sacrifice for that dick. This bad bitch. This beautiful book is about this girl who fell in love with the popular guy at school and he consistently was like, no, 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 you ugly hoe. And she's like, oh my God, then let's just be friends. And then she fell in love with the third lead and he was like, no, that's my girl. But what made this book my all time favorite is the simple fact that nothing actually happens between them. There's 10 volumes. This is the final volume. They kiss on the last page and you don't even see the kiss. Strobe Edge. Art-wise, sensational. Look at that, the way he holds her and shit. And I'm waiting for an indie f boy to text me back? No, 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 no. What I loved about this story, what makes this story so important to me is the fact that it showed me how quiet love is. Sometimes love isn't as big as Skippy or Jujo Romantica. Sometimes love is just sitting next to the person that you like. Love is wanting someone but respecting your relationship first not 100% healthy. There are some things I would have up in this, but it really was a guiding light for me, I think, because I always thought to fall in love and to have love, you had to be the quiet girl that nobody noticed, that was docile enough. And with shoujo manga, it's really about loud, proud women or men or characters that I relate to not only fight for someone else, but in most of these stories, when the main character gets the love that they want, they love themselves first. I remember reading so much of this shoujo manga that A helped with my bullying because I could get obsessed with these heroines who were loud and funny and courageous and were the main characters in these stories, had guys who loved and accepted them for who they were. But the genre of shoujo just really taught me the importance of really knowing someone and having someone really know you. And I love it, guys. Definitely Cher gave me a higher expectations because most of these people ain't shit. But it taught me the importance of pure love. It's hard to find something that real, especially in this culture, especially as a dark-skinned black woman. But it also taught me that I deserve real, honest, sensational 35 chapters romance. So, yes, that is my story. My truth of being a shoujo manga, doki doki, trash can who loves seeing people fall in love. And I just wanna say thank you to every manga artist that made these stories that changed my life. I would not be the person that I am today without you. And mom, you finally know what I was doing at three o'clock in the morning in the closet. It wasn't porn. So yeah, <laughs> another story from your girl. I hope you liked my confession. Um, subscribe to the channel and welcome to the tribe. Uh, please subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you next week, okay? Bye. Wait. Bye.